I'm James Sockling. You probably know me as a wine critic and writer. Uh, today was really special for me because uh, actually I launched my wine, a charity wine. It's just a sort of a one-off thing for now. Spoke about my website, which is coming out in about three weeks. But uh, One Wine, One World is all about harmony, peace, about how wine brings people together, people, different people with differences in life and religion, but they come together over wonderful glasses of wine. So that tell was, me um, more about One Wine, One World, and um, we, could, we could have a look at the wines. that We've, sure. got, we've got these in front of us. Um, there we have uh, the red and the white. So James, just uh, give me a couple of words on, on, on what the wines are, what they're made of, how they're made. Well, uh, the red wine was uh, blended in Mexico, and it's a blend of Mexican wine, Californian wine, and French wine from Roussillon. The white wine is a wine from Italy, Friuli, and uh, Slovenia, and Hungary. And the blends of the white, the blend of the white is uh, Ribola Gialla, Friulano, Pinot Grigio, Chardonnay, and Sauvignon Blanc. The red is uh, Grenache, Carignan, Petit Syrah, Zinfandel, Cabernet Sauvignon, and let's see if I forgot anything. I think maybe a little bit of Merlot. So there's a lot of things in it. And um, uh, Jancis Robinson and I have been here at lunch today um, mm -hmm. and we're the first people to taste these yeah, wines, absolutely. or the first, first press to taste these wines. But um, tell me where the wines um, are going to be tasted next. Well, uh, on Sunday, probably uh, you may not know, but uh, this week in London, the uh, Pope is, uh, is visiting here, the, Pope, the first papal visit in 30 years, and the dinner is being served in uh, Birmingham for the Pope, which is very exciting. And so the Pope is going to, these are the only wines being served at this Yes, dinner? the only wines, and uh, it was really, uh, the whole thing came about. I made these wines particularly for this event because my good friend, uh, David Khalili, who's a philanthropist and uh, one of the top uh, art collectors in the world of Islamic art and Japanese art, he had this wonderful foundation called the, uh, the Maya Monidus Foundation, which is an interfaith foundation uh, to bring Jews, Christians, and Muslims closer together. And I told him about this idea in my mind that I said, well, what if, what if we blended wines from the world? You know, what would happen? Would there be harmony? Because we always talk about differences in areas, whether it's Australia, California, or France, or whatever. I said, what would happen if we actually blended wines from different areas or different continents? And then he said, I love this idea. Why don't you make a wine for this uh, papal visit and we'll serve it for lunch and for dinner. And here we are today, it's crazy. So um, this is your first move after, after leaving Wine Spectator. Mm -hmm. Now you left Wine Spectator in um, July. End of July, yeah. End of July this year. Mm -hmm. um, how, how do you feel having left Wine Spectator? Do you, do, do you feel um, that so you can now go on and do things that you couldn't do before? Well, I, I think it's really, uh, you know, I spent 29 fabulous years with the Wine Spectator, also Cigar Aficionado. Uh, I still feel, you know, I still feel part of the family because I actually, uh, I think I did a lot to, to create both magazines. And, uh, but you know, now I wanted to try different things in my life. And this is one of the things that I wanted to try was make a charity wine. I have my, my website, which is going to be mostly video. Because I think that nowadays everyone knows the written word is becoming less and less important, particularly with the younger generation and I want to really communicate wine in a new and modern way. And um, what are you going to put your energies into in the future? Making wine or running your website? No, well, I want to put my energies into what I've done for 29 years is being a critic. The wine thing was just a dream, just something I wanted to try. You know, who knows if I'll go on with this charity wine idea. It takes a lot of wine, I mean, excuse me, a lot of time and wine because in fact, uh, it really made me better understand uh, the hassles that winemakers go through. It's not only just making the wine, actually getting the bottles you know, to the market, getting the bottles to, to the table for people to drink. Incredible, all the regulations, all the hassles. So I have a much better appreciation for what it goes into, into making wine. James, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.